So you're thinking about moving to Johns Creek, Georgia, and your budget's in the 900s, and you're wondering like what your money will buy, and that's exactly what we're gonna tackle in this video. Then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this place that I'm hanging out in, so we're gonna get after it right now. All right, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Atlanta, Georgia, or in this case, Johns Creek, well then subscribe below, ring the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Atlanta and when we release new content like this. My name's Denny, the team and I get calls each and every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Atlanta and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week, next year, or any time in between, Call, text, email, schedule a Zoom. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta. I'm here at Halcyon, which is actually right off of exit 12, McFarland off of 400. It's on the north side of Alpharetta, right on the border of Fulton and Forsyth County. Johns Creek is technically about five minutes that way, but this is a really great easy way you know there's nothing like this in Johns Creek and so if you want one of these like mixed use development vibes you're gonna have to either come over here or shoot over to Avalon but you know Johns Creek and Alpharetta are right next to each other you even have it on the other side in Duluth as well lots of great downtown areas Johns Creek has a lot to offer but something like this is probably not it but again it's in close proximity uh, behind me you have Ocean and Acre right here we have Hobnob I don't know if you can see this but I'm standing in this little green space. There's like bags, things of that nature, right in the house, in Halcyon over there. Uh, there's all kinds of families and people running around. There's live music and games and that kind of stuff going on. Lots of other stuff, breweries, uh, coffee shops. This is a uh, land of a thousand hills. Right across the street, you can see there's the Big Creek Greenway. There's an entrance right there. It's over 20 miles of walking, biking, hiking trails. And then right behind me, my good friend Eric Klein is about to open Eclipse de Luna. Um, there's a couple of these around Atlanta and they're a really great tapas restaurant. And so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to have some events here, but wanted to kind of show you a little bit about Halcyon. Now let's get in the car, go check out that first property in the 900s, and then we'll come back and put a bow on it. we're here at our first stop in the 900s this one's right at nine hundred thousand dollars so this particular home was built in the early 90s it's five bedrooms four bathrooms 3,800 square feet as you can see it's in a cul-de-sac we are talking about this property right there tucked over in behind the trees let me show it to you so great private backyard, quiet cul-de-sac, amazing location. This neighborhood, six lighted tennis courts, pool, clubhouse, playground, all the stuff you would want in a neighborhood, lively community, tons of activities throughout the year. Close proximity to 400, to the Avalon, to Alpharetta, to all of Johns Creek. And this Johns Creek home, while at 900, it's in really good condition, meaning the landscaping looks great, exterior looks like it's in great shape, and uh, the interior has nice, uh, tasteful updates, lots of space, ba uh, daylight basement, all of that, but I do think for this neighborhood, that one's a little bit overpriced. I, I think it's been on the market for two weeks. In this market, if it's been on the market for two weeks and it's not under contract, it's probably a pricing issue. I think it's probably gonna sell in the 800 somewhere, but still gives you a good idea of kind of the starting point in that right at 900 range. And it's gonna be a great home. On to the next stop.
All right, here on this stop in Johns Creek, we have a beautiful home to kick off the nine hundreds. It's listed right at nine hundred thousand dollars. It's right down here. I'm walking that way. Before I get there, I'll tell you a little bit about it. On the surface, in the description, it's got all the trappings of, you know, a luxury home. It's five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. 5,000 square feet. It's got a full finished terrace level with a kitchenette, media room, game room, dry sauna, jacuzzi. So, I mean, what's not to love about that? Spa-like master bath, his and her closets. Uh, master's not on the main, but there is a bedroom on the main. The living space, tons of open concept, tons of living space. Here's the challenge. All of that stuff is slightly dated. And I don't mean like really, really dated. I mean, just from a color perspective, you'll hear me say this over and over and over and over. Homeowners can get away with it in the seller's market because buyers really don't have the leverage to ask for anything. That flip flops and it becomes a buyer's market or even a normal market. And as a seller, you're really trying to maximize the value of your asset. And let me swing around because that is it right behind me you're really trying to maximize the value of your asset and one of the easiest ways you can do that is simply current paint so an exterior paint job on a property like that might be you know ten or fifteen thousand dollars an interior paint job on five thousand square feet uh, might be ten to twenty five thousand depending on are you going to do the trim how much repair works needed all that kind of stuff but you could probably get away with a basic paint job for fifteen thousand dollars if you painted the inside and out and the out the exterior is brick it doesn't even have to be but if you did you're talking about a thirty thousand dollar investment you easily get all thirty thousand if not fifty thousand dollars back in that investment just for some paint so at nine hundred thousand dollars that's a great option and a good value in today's market in johns creek in this location this uh neighborhood is also really great it's got 10 lighted tennis courts it's got a director of tennis on staff um it's got a junior olympic pool it's got playground it has a full lake that's stocked for you to go fishing uh walking trails it's got all that stuff so don't hear me when i say that it needs a fresh coat of paint if you love dark burgundies and and greens and that kind of stuff maybe you'll love the paint but for me i'd want to either as the seller invest that money to get a greater sales price because the neighborhood would support it or as a buyer i would look like that as an opportunity to add value anyway on to the next one this Johns Creek home is amazing so you'll see me in a lot of videos critique you know the homes and kind of give you feedback on pricing or room for improvement things of that nature and even uh, the last home I looked at at 900 you know it was a nice home but it was a bit dated and it's hard you know for some people to stomach spending nine hundred thousand dollars and even and then needing to do anything even if it's as minimal is paint and so I'm gonna swing around right here and as you can see right behind me that is the property that we're talking about this neighborhood has some construction still going on most of the homes in this area were built in uh, 2018 so it's four bedrooms four and a half bathrooms right at 4,000 square feet and I don't know if you can see it but up there there's even like a third floor bedroom bathroom storage area everything about it from a design perspective the granite the countertops butler's pantry oversized spa like master the paint colors the fixtures finishes everything about it screams like on trend in terms of the design and uh, i just think it's a beautiful home nice private lot on the side and in the back and i don't know if you can see this but um some of these homes have garages right there and then some of them don't like that so you have a private entrance in the back with your garage back there 
but of all the homes I've seen in this price point in Johns Creek thus far, that is my favorite. And uh, let me know which one's your favorite. Drop it in the comments below. And if you get any value from these videos, like smash the thumbs up button so everybody else knows that you like it as much as I do. And here we are in Johns Creek at the tip, tip, tippity top of the 900s. The home I'm gonna show you is listed at $999,999. Hey, don't blame me, blame the agent. I'm not the one that set the price, but it is technically in the 900s. This is in one of the most sought after gated communities in Johns Creek. It's got a full-time 24 seven security guard. The community amenities are second to none. Uh, there's a pool, splash pad, junior Olympic pool, tennis courts, basketball courts, an open grass field to play in. All of that's right around the corner. You could not get more or you could not ask for more in amenities for the neighborhood. I will swing around. This is the subject property right here behind us. It is built in 2015. They're still building in this neighborhood. They have been for uh, you know, almost a decade now, but it's five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. It's over 5,000 square feet and everything about it, it screams uh, high end and luxury. All of the crown molding, tray ceilings, the countertops, the cabinets, everything is more like a classic luxury. They mixed the, some light whites, grays, tans with dark browns and wood. It's not my style, but that doesn't mean it's not yours. I'm not looking for me. I have my own home. It is a high-end luxury home. Despite being built seven years ago, it looks brand new, feels brand new, and it's a fabulous home. So if it's your style, you know, this house isn't going to be available when you're watching this video, but it does kind of give you an idea of what $999,999 will get you in Johns Creek. Obviously the school systems are second to none, but it's really the biggest value is outside of just the property itself is the community. You're getting that all with it. And uh, that's it for the 900s. All right, well that was the 900s. Hopefully that gives you an idea of exactly what your money will buy here in the Johns Creek area. As always, if you have any comments, drop those below. If you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you know when we release new content like this. You know, there's only so much we can cover in a video. Uh, in order to tailor it to your specific situation, then we'd love to talk to you. So whether you're moving next week, next year, or anytime in between, or even just have a question, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Happy to uh, help you make a smooth move to Atlanta. And then behind me, this is just that uh, kind of the central area. I'll give you a little, uh, pan around real quick. So this is what's going on in Halcyon, and that's the 900s in Johns Creek. Till we see you in person, hopefully we'll see you on the next episode.